Bullying is widespread in the United States. In a 2011 nationwide survey of high school students, just over 20% reported being bullied on school property in the 12 months preceding the survey. Victims of bullying have been shown to be at increased risk for problems such as depression and anxiety. For some victims, bullying can even result in suicide. A lot of research focuses on the victims of bullying, but not much is known about the mental health of children who display bullying behavior. Bullies are often described as aggressive, dominating, and impulsive. Bullies have been found to be at increased risk for substance abuse, academic problems, and are more likely to engage in violent behaviors as teens and adults. As our country has become more aware of this public health problem, governments and schools have begun implementing anti-bullying programs. The effectiveness of these school-based programs needs to be studied more. We also need to think of other ways in which we can stop bullying before it starts. For instance, by paying closer attention to the mental health of children who bully. This study found that children with certain mental health disorders are more likely to be identified as a bully and therefore highlights the importance of providing psychological support to not just victims of bullying, but the bullies as well. When we gain a better understanding of the risk factors for being a bully, we can create more useful and appropriate resources and interventions to reduce bullying. There certainly needs to be more longitudinal studies to clarify the association of mental health disorders and bullying behavior. We need to assess bullying prevention programs for their effect on children with mental health disorders and whether psychological support for these children has any impact on bullying behavior. For me, the takeaway for this study is that there is a larger story behind why children bully, and part of that story may include a diagnosis of a mental health disorder. To create more useful prevention programs, we may need to focus more of our time and resources on the mental health of children who display bullying behavior.